I'm your mother, I brought your life I hope you learned your lesson A hundred years from now, you gon' need your mama's blessings I don't need no Smith and Wesson Welcome back to season two of the Cynthia Martin L show. I'm your host, Cynthia Martin L here to inspire you to read more, live more, love more. We're, we're sending out a call to all Asiatic publishers and writers from all over the world. As we continue to grow with your support, we want to continue to build a platform that showcases all inspiring works as we move forward to our mission to uplift falling humanity. It was Prophet Noble Juali who taught the Moors that the most powerful thing in the hands of a people was their ability to control their press. Now, this is why this season you guys will be getting a lot more from us. Live interviews, live uh, entertainment, book reviews, poetry readings, and much, much more. So remember, if you have a book, an event, or a business that you're trying to promote, Please contact our More TV team. They would love to hear from you. You can do that at, by emailing them at the link below and following us on all social media platforms. Now, to get this episode started, I've been told that our producer has a big surprise for everyone. You can check it out on this clip behind me. The Kwanzaa celebration held last December at the Shape Community Center here in Houston, Texas. So I also hear that, you, you know, I'm supposed to be dancing or something in the background here, too. So you guys can go and get your laugh on and we'll be right back. Get it done. Because we spend more money. Everybody get paid on Friday. Where do we go? We run and get George. We run and go get red bottles. We run and go get this and that and other thing. But we never go and to our brothers and spend a dollar. So that's why another reason why I brought people here today too is to make sure that we spend our dollars with our people. I don't go buy perfume in Walgreens. I don't go buy perfume at a perfume shop. I go back over there and buy my perfume. I don't buy my toilet tissue to wipe my butt. I go and buy it where the boards are right, you know, sell the toilet tissue. I don't do all that. So my money, if I can help it, stays in the community. Okay? So that's all I need to say. I don't want to get up here and preach, but I'm very passionate about what I do. Okay? So I love you guys. Where can we get more information? Cindy Martinell Show, moretv.com. love to all. Have you heard the great news? The Morris Science Temple of America is building in the community. Come down and support the brand new shop. Proclaim your nationality and start spending your money with your people. They have everything from snow cones for the young ones, popcorn, organic products, and more. Be sure to visit the Morris Science Temple of America at 932 East 79th Street, Chicago, Illinois, 60619. Remember, it takes finances to raise a nation.
peace and love to all the Asiatics out there. I'm your sister Monique Singbe and I'm here to talk to you about a new show called The Buzz. And on The Buzz we will be giving you all the latest updates on the uplifting acts and fun things that's going on in the Moorish society. Hi, Issa. Are you there? Yes, I am. Great. Can you hear me okay? I hear you perfectly. Okay. I have 10 short questions to ask about your book and um, maybe two discussion questions, but um, just 10 short questions uh, right away that I would like to ask you if that's okay. Sure. Okay. Uh, what is the book about? Great question. This book is about restoring our citizenship. Black people do not have a citizenship. Black people do not have a nationality. And I need to fix that question again. It's so-called black people because we have been indoctrinated to call ourselves black for so long. We're not black, we're not crayons, we're not adjectives, we're not ghoulish, we're not weird, we're not morbid, we're not sick. I tell people all the time that I talk to very intelligent men and women who speak the English language, which now I'm going to start teaching all our children and men and women that we need to start coming from a foundation when we open our mouths to people. Meaning, Cynthia, do you speak English? Yeah. Okay, I do too. That means that we can have a serious conversation and it will never have to deal with emotionalism. So one of the reasons why I wrote the book is because I want people to understand that we're not really as intelligent as we think we are, including me first and foremost. So I wanted to share my research and my information with the people to let us know we got to humble ourselves and we got to start studying and reading because we're showing ourselves not being approved. Right. By creator. Wonderful. All right. Great, great answer for that. I'm sure the people are enjoying that one. Uh, do you want each book to stand on its own or are you trying to build a body of work with connections to each book? You know, because I see that this book here, um, you know, I, I, I read it myself and obviously, but um, it seems that you can build on that. What, what are your thoughts about that? Yeah, absolutely. See, um, same thing, you know, you know me well, and you know what my intentions are. I really, really um, like to follow success. I'm a copycat. I'm admitting it. I copy the, the correct cat. And that cat is Noble Drew Ali. So I wanted to do what Noble Drew Ali said. He said to me in spirit, and he said it in his oral statements and prophecies, and he said it at all his um, meetings. He used to say, hey, y'all, we got to write our own stuff. We got to put our own literature into work. We can't count on everyone else. Now, we can only do that once we get the right, the proper foundation. Me being uh, me being out here in Washington, D.C., I, you know, I can go to the Library of Congress and I can get the true and love and research. So I wanted to make sure that this book, this first book, Black People Are Dead in Law, So Restore Your Citizenship, will be the benchmark book and the, um, you know, the Cadillac book on some of the other books that I'll be writing in the future. Oh. So to answer your question again, I want this book to stand alone, but of course, it is so much other books that I'm going to build on for this book. Great, wonderful answer for that. Uh, what does literary uh, success look like to you? as it relates to this book. Wow, it looks like this. Through an email or through a text or through a telephone conversation, people calling me saying, hey, Issa, I nationalized. I proclaim my nationality. I'm an act six more, just like you. I really proclaimed my nationality. I really published myself as being not property of the United States. I am not a 14th Amendment citizen. That is the only reason. That is the only some literary success that I want from this book. Great. Why is it important that the people know this information? Why do you think that they need to know that they're not so-called black people? 
That's a great question again. A lot of our so-called black people are walking around thinking that we're game changers. And we're really not game changers. Because when you call yourself a so-called black person, African-American, colored, Negro, Latino, Ethiopian, Ethiopian, Afro, Afro-American, or any of the other pseudo-slave titles that they give people, you're not a part of any political participation in this country. You always hear about people wanting you to vote to change the situation. Well, so-called black people can not vote. Well, what you mean? We can't vote. I voted last week. Well, you voted for nothing because the electoral college takes care of all your votes, especially if on the paperwork you put black, Negro, color, or African-American for all those people who are registered to vote. So I wanted our people to come into our own family of nations so we can have a free ballot and we can do all the things that we're supposed to do for our people so we can have our best interest at hand. That's the only reason. All right, you go. What do you hope will be the everlasting thoughts for readers who uh, finish your book? To look at themselves and say, wow, I've been goofy. Wow, I have been underachieving in my study game. Wow, I think I know more than what I do know. Wow, I have cried. Wow, I'm going to change that. You know what? Morals are the the, the, the true definition of moral, Cynthia, is the true human being. And the true human being knows that when they get that hell on planet Earth, they are a part of a bunch of mess. So there are only going to be a few people that's going to read and study and be able to awaken and change themselves. Noble Drew Ali said, what are all these people doing here? Then only a few are going to be saved, and I can count them on one hand and have fingers left over. So I want people to be able to look at themselves and say, you know what? I'm a fraud. I'm a hypocrite. I'm a bold-faced liar, unknowingly or knowingly. But because I want to be a better man and woman, I'm going to read this book, and it's going to teach me how to do it. Yes. If people can only buy one book this year, why should it be yours? It should be my book because I'm not talking about goofy, fake stuff and sex and drugs and lying and egotistical um, intellectual masturbation that people want to show off themselves. They should buy my book because my book is going to teach them and their families and their generations the truth about their lost, illustrious, Moorish heritage. Wonderful. What's your favorite part in the book, Issa? My favorite part of the book is when I'm teaching the um, so-called black people that they were put under a citizenship called the 14th Amendment. As we all know, Kanye West is talking about the 13th or 14th or 15th Amendments right now. So what we need to understand is that black people, when they say that they're citizens, they are property citizens. That's what the 14th Amendment was made for. So I like to teach people who are so skillful in law and who love the Constitution that the 14th Amendment was not even ratified and it was given to us under force. So when they start to learn that they're not 14th Amendment citizens and that they are American citizens, then we can start getting some stuff done in this country. And that 14th Amendment part and teaching who real Moors are, because there are a lot of people out here who say that they're Moors, but they have not done everything that Noble Drew Ali told them to do in Act 6. Those are the real Moors. So I wanted to let so-called Moors, sleepy Moors, educational Moors, and intellectual Moors know that Noble Drew Ali said, I'm watching all y'all. If you ain't done Act 6, why are you calling yourself a Moor? All right. Why is nationality important? Nationality is important because everybody, everybody around, um, walking around you have a nationality except so-called black people. You got Turkish people, you have Italian people, you have all of these different nationalities, but black people still don't have a nation. And that's the point. Like on the cover of my book, if nationality wasn't important, then why did they take so-called black people's nationality away. And I want to bring them into the Aquarius age under a solid foundational footing of nationality is the only order of the day to so-called black people. Great. You said black people are dead in law, so what does that mean? 
Absolutely. Black people are dead in law because when I went to the Library of Congress, I went and researched the American Constitution and the Constitutional Convention of September 5th, 1774. In the Constitutional Conventions, pay attention, notes, not just the convention, but the notes. It was a guy named Richard Sherman said, hey, y'all know what? Anybody who call themselves black, we're gonna make them three fifths of a person. Three, I'm sorry, the correct saying is three fifths of all other persons. Which means you don't even know who, we don't even know who black people are. So if we can get black people perpetually to denationalize themselves and honor all of the European things that's going on in this country, we can have control over them and they can be in perpetual slavery to us. So guess what? The Constitution states that black people are civil tier more tooth, meaning dead in the eyes of the law. And for all your listeners read, I want to spell it for you. C-I-V-I-L-I-T. I E R space Mortus M O R T U U S. That is the legal status of all so called black people in the United States of America, Cynthia. Wow. Well, wow. Uh, thank you so much for answering all these questions. And that was my 10. But I also have something in my book that I wanted you to address because I feel like it's important that at least the Moabitists uh, here need to know. And I think it's on page let's see here i get my book here um i want you to speak on that you know every child has a right to nationality i think it's on page 205 but i think you can speak to that in your heart uh why is it important that every child has a nationality and why haven't we given them their nationality when they were born okay this is a made okay Cynthia. a lot of people love this part of the book first of all there are seven steps to slavery in the united states that was never told to you Children, when they are born, they are already denationalized for one simple reason. The Moorish mom or the Moorish father did not fill out that 58 answer question. I mean, 58 answer. I mean, 58 questions that was given on the application for the birth certificate. And on that application, number 22 states, what is your nationality? Every child coming into this country who has, even me, my my mother, my father, their mother, and father, from until seven, until the seven, I mean, until the seventeen hundreds, we didn't know that we had a nationality. The cherry tree was cut down, so we have to teach our children. Hey, when you get on this earth, you have got to belong to a family of men and women. Family is the first thing that they're all creating. And that family is your Moorish nationality. So we have to teach the children, you have a right to a nationality and a right to a free national name. So you can have success growing up, not looked at as chattel property. Wow. Thank you so much, Issa. We're we're so proud of the book and we're reviewing it and it's the very first one for the season so we just wanted to thank you so very much and we do hope in the future that you can um you know visit us in in, you know live we're still hopeful for that but um you know thank you so much for your time tonight and and your answers were just right on spot on clear concise and i think that everybody listening will get exactly what they need to get in order to order the book so we'll be giving them that information uh, underneath all of this, all um, up, 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 and I can't even talk. I'm so excited here. But underneath your uh, answers, we'll be giving them the www.buythisbook.com so that they know where to purchase the book. And uh, again, we thank you so very much for your time this evening. And, I'm honest. That and, was a beautiful um, interview, and I appreciate you talking to you. And thank you so much, Cynthia. You're the editor of my book, and I'm so happy that I had an editor like you. And I just cannot wait until you guys invite me down there, and okay. I will be in person. Well, thank you so it. much. So we'll we'll let you go and have a great night, and um, we'll be right back. We're gonna go and pay some bills, so we're gonna be right back. We're taking a break. Thank you so much. Welcome to the Cynthia Martin.
Bestseller Book Review segment. Here is a list of all the top books and best-selling authors for this quarter. Remember, if you're interested in being on the CME show or would like to know how to get your book reviewed or edited or just trying to figure out how to get published, our CME staff has packages for all authors. If you have a nationality card, be sure to ask about your Moorish discount. As we get ready for 2019 and 2020, the CME show is partnering with different Asiatic groups to sit down and talk group economics, creating Moorish businesses jobs, gold investment, and building wealth. I'm so happy to be a part of the Moore TV family, and we're all giving a special congratulations to all Moorish Americans across the Americas, from all bodies who are doing their part in the uplift fallen humanity. As always, signing off with love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Well, Mary, what is your thoughts on the book? Well, first, I just want to thank you for allowing me the opportunity to come and share about the book. And for me, the Black People Are Dead in Law is really instrumental because there's this huge movement in our country where individuals are fed up with their conditions and their circumstances. And, you know, we see injustices all over the Americas. And you look at grand jurors come back and say, well, your rights weren't violated right and it's like well yeah. let's look at your civil rights and it's like people are starting to question well what's the difference my constitutional rights mm -hmm. and they're understanding that well you know what if you were constitution if you had constitutional rights mm -hmm. you wouldn't need civil rights exactly. right exactly. because the constitution would cover you so obviously mm -hmm. there's a level of citizenship and classism that they're not aware of and what what this does is it brings to light some of their questions but they haven't asked these questions out loud intelligently right. and now i love the fact that the book is done in question and answer format because i believe that we don't truly learn information by just regurgitating no. we actually learn by unfolding yes. so by asking questions and giving answers then we have to do the math internally for it to add up in our minds exactly. right and that's one thing that i think is beautiful and um i think it's also important there's this uh let's get back to africa back to our ancient roots and yeah. everyone has like there's this huge like you know black power and african comedic uh, movement that's like sweeping across the nation and here like in in um it speaks on the moorish americans are the descendants of the ancient moabites who inhabited the northwestern and southwestern shores of 
Africa. And then it says, oh, I forgot to tell you. If you're in the United <laughs> States, you are in northwestern shores of Africa. Uh-oh. You're I dare you to invalidate <laughs> that last statement. You're so like- it starts to make people realize, like, I am in Africa, and this right. is my country. Uh-oh. And within that, within that <laughs> truth also gives you a freedom of, well, if this is my land, then now I'm empowered to ensure that my rights are not violated and I'm not asking for someone to amend something or change something. I just have to be who I am in order to put myself back in my proper status of who I am. And divinely, no one can change your descent. And, And just bringing this to light in a very simple format for people to understand and break it down. I think it's beautiful. And, um, I think the whomever you know the the, the author um, Issa Rael mm-hmm. is definitely um, very intricate mind and he breaks it down very simply yeah. and I love the fact that he adds you know his his facts as well as his faith and his beliefs mm-hmm. to really help um, transform certain people's minds and conditions of ideologies mm-hmm. that have disabled us as a people. Right. Yeah, All absolutely. Right. So right. thank you for sharing the book with hey, me. And it, it was my pleasure. And, and it's also my pleasure that you were able to come today yes. you know, and talk about it. So Well, um, anytime Mama Cynthia asks, <laughs> you know, I have to show up. And um, as a sponsor of the show, I think it's really important for people to start to um, – grow through reading yes that's very it's very instrumental Mm -hmm. because we have to be open to gaining new information new insight because that way we won't limit our 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 mindset our you know exactly i think it's very important for us to grow and to open ourselves up to a different way of looking at the world different I would like to thank my special guest, Issa Rael, for calling in today and answering questions in regards to the book. And also, I would like to thank my panelists, Jay and Mary, for doing the same. You guys, I want to thank you as well for joining in for season two and look forward to a lot more from us. And our motto of the show is read more, live more, and love more. So peace and love, buy the book, information down here at the bottom. Peace. family i want to welcome everyone back to more tv live season three i'm happy to be here to host uh our two-hour special of more tv live as we kick off and get ready for another season i want to give honors to everyone who's been supporting the network the movement give honors to all the moors the asiatics across the country who are coming in tune with the knowledge of self if you have not done so already make sure you email the link below learn how to proclaim your nationality to kick off season three of more tv live is a dope, dope artist. We first met him on season two. He submitted his video uh, for review. And in my mind, one of the most um, eclectic, uh, I don't really want to put him into a category because his style is so unique. You know, I- I've seen him um, jump on tracks where he's singing. I've seen him, you know, going into being straight lyrical. So he's definitely someone who has mastered his craft. 
and um, he's back to kick off season three. I want y'all to give it up for my brother from another mother. Peace and love to brother Eben Orator, kicking it off right here on season three of More TV Live. Peace. of things that chase comments uh, uh, chase comments uh, chase comments uh, uh, chase comments you're beautiful beautiful I want you to That's why I jumped off, got a little momentum, then trip. Yeah, I'm thick, scold, hard-headed It's too simple, they won't get it Became recluse in order to paint pictures for lack of words I've departed from the scripture, but stay with a verse I refuse to play victim, though they question my skin Categorize my pigment, summer days in the sun Forgot I was light-skinned, and in Ghana I'm a white woman Barbara Raymond, mad, why I can never remember now Appearing different, cause in America I am just colored Red skin, mutt mulatto, nappy-headed nigga Cup felt the ripple Face muscles wouldn't move, couldn't find a dip Read a lot of text, came to the conclusion that the idea is to think bigger Time's about to lapse, so I gotta think quick Take, take a leap Take, take a leap You're beautiful, beautiful Today, love hard. 
Jack cheese and bread, great of mine, need be fed. Thirsty till my speakers black, wash off and leave the crib. Flow into myself as I walk. Get this feeling that inner self when I talk. It's kind of private, in fact. There's no point in telling liars the facts. Hit it to the wood tip, cause I rely on my blacks. I light a match, let it burn away in time when I rap. The vibes in a trap to separate the eyes of the cat. Seeing the nighttime with bright eyes, my time and intact. I'm focused, stand tall, never lie on my back. It's love, truth, justice, freedom, and peace. I ain't never have to ask for my freedom of speech I spoke, the days coming, nigga need a retreat The laws running, never sleep with the weak We all gunning, the ammunition history is fact But it's mystery to those that arose from a distant sea We let go Uh It's like the world getting flat again Guess they couldn't find me competition and finally stopped to listen. I showed the shrug, overdub my only opposition, my condition, and I got from spitting. In the ciphers with the lavas ripping, with top dogs, never novice kittens. Fuck a fire verse, a lava sentence. My tongue temperature is higher, hot as heavens. Opposite is not the business I've been trying to witness. It's that feeling when you qualify with top contenders. That's when the pot's the biggest, bigger than Pac and biggest pun in L. Bigger than Martin, this is Garvey's in the sunny L's. Arm, leg, leg, arm. Headed for the next song Stones that I stepped on Along the ways The path that I left on I think the word for that is MC Ceremony sent for me Simply cause I'm a controller energy Say it loud Play the crowd like a symphony There's no stopping in this industry I just go As above, so below Below Richer than honey, been a busy bee Buzzing, got out the oven chasing that degree Rumbling, mumbling, hunger through my gritted teeth Juggling, please would give me something in a different key Struggling, picture me rolling like I live in T Ireland, niggas doubling, they flipping keys Buy a gram, I pull a piff and let it hit you in a diaphragm Nothing sweet about the rain, better try Kazam No regard for the bow regard I kill pins like bowling balls Ink, let it flow and fall Scribing the text I accept as the hope for all When niggas thug and there's no hugging, just open arms Beach burners, they close the palms Leave them covered in heat by the ocean floor See, shells and weed got they focus wrong And yet that minty green breeze helped me quote this song I just go love to all. Have you heard the great news? The Moore Science Temple of America is building in the community. Come down and support the brand new shop. Proclaim your nationality and start spending your money with your people.
They have everything from snow cones for the young ones, popcorn, organic products, and more. Be sure to visit the Moore Science Temple of America at 932 East 79th Street, Chicago, Illinois, 60619. Remember, it takes finances to raise a nation. Hello everyone and welcome to the Cynthia Marnell Abundance University segment of the day. My name is Simone Gundy and you all might recognize me from season 11 of NBC's hit show The Voice, but today I'm here to remind you to turn off the TV every once in a while, pick up a book and learn about your nationality, your culture, your history. Remember to read more, live more, and love more. The gods are back, the moors are strapped, we waking up. And we want our land back, running off at the trap. You know them gods don't like that. Waking up from a nap, like where the hell my crown at? 